Hey guys, this is Electro Wizard. Hope you will be great there. In my previous video, I have shown you how to make variable power supply on breadboard. If you haven't watched it yet, the links are given in the description down below. So that's all about the previous video. So what we are gonna today? Today I'm gonna show you how to make a variable power supply on PCB. So before getting into the video, you might think that why we need to make it. We can also vary the voltage by potentiometer. So the answer is good efficiency and linear voltage control of voltage regulator. And second thing, it is very easy to make. But still if you find any difficulty in making it, so I have put the links in the description where you can buy it. Subscribe Electro Wizard and don't forget to press the bell icon for stay updated for more techy videos. At this voltage you can charge your phone with 5 volts and 1 ampere. At this voltage you can charge your phone at 5 volts and 2 amperes. Insert LM317 IC in PCB board. LM317 IC has three legs. First leg is adjustment leg, second leg is output leg, and third leg is input leg. Apply flux to the legs of the IC and then carefully solder the legs of the IC and be sure not to shorten the legs. Insert a 220 ohm resistance in parallel to the adjustment and output pin. Now fold the legs of IC to make contact between resistance and IC and then solder it. Add a 5 kilo ohm pod to the PCB. and connect its one end leg to the adjustment pin and now insert a 200 pod in series with 5 kilo ohm pod now solder the center legs of both pods Now the basic part of the circuit is being completed. All we need to do is just add two capacitor at input and output. Connect the positive leg of the DC connector to the input pin. Connect negative leg to the ground. So as you can see that we have done most of the work. All we need to do is connect output port and the capacitor. Black stripes on the capacitor indicates the negative polarity and the other plane side indicates the positive lag. Connect negative lag to the ground and positive to input.
Now solder the one microfarad capacitor between ground and output. Drill two holes for USB port. Now with the help of alligator clips or a big clips, you can hold the USB port and then solder it. Now the circuit is complete and ready for test. So the reason behind using 200 ohm pod in series with 5 kilo ohm pod is precision which is absent in my first video where I have used only 5 kilo ohm pod. At this voltage you can charge a phone with 5 volts and 1 ampere. At this voltage you can charge your phone at 5 volts and 2 amperes. For larger variation you can use 5 kilo ohm pod and for minor variation you can use 200 ohm pod. A perfect 9 volt which cannot be achieved if we use only 5 kilo ohm pod. Any voltage can be achieved from 1.3V to 37V in a very precise manner.